Fresh water connects us all. And it's incredibly important that we manage this resource, not just for us, but also for the quarter of all vertebrate species that live in freshwater around the world. For the past 22 years, the Tennessee Aquarium has had an incredible identity at showcasing fresh water and the animals that live there. We've been able to tell the story of these animals living in our streams, rivers, and lakes, and we're in an incredible place to tell that story. Here in the southeastern United States, we are living in a hot spot of biodiversity. There's a lot of species living all around us, a lot of different animals, from snails and mussels and crayfish to fish and turtles and salamanders. And in that, we have almost half of the nation's freshwater fish species. We're living in an underwater rainforest. There's so many things going on below the surface of the water. And what I love about working at the Tennessee Aquarium Conservation Institute is we have the chance to help some of those species. My favorite days that I have are those when we get to release an endangered species back into the wild. Those are just the days in which everything comes together. The trout releases are fun because we actually get to hike up the creek and release trout into each of the little pools that we find as we go up the creek. Southern Appalachian brook trout are the only native trout to Tennessee. And it's a relief to, to get them in the stream and know that we've done as much as we can for them. They're strong, they're healthy, and hopefully they're gonna survive and thrive. That's what it's all about for us, is restoring and preserving these ecological communities. And we're using science to guide that process because we wanna make sure that not only are we restoring the species, but that we're also learning as much as we can so we can restore some of these iconic species that have been lost from the Southeast, whether it's the bright red and yellow, beautiful colors on the brook trout or this dinosaur-like fish swimming around in your backyard. Right now we're in what I call our watershed moment. We have a lot of serious decisions to make about fresh water and how we manage it. And I think what we have the opportunity to do here at the Aquarium and Conservation Institute is to bring more people together to raise national awareness of this incredible diversity we have here in our backyard and share the story of Southeastern rivers and streams.